keep our socks. <laughs> so, okay, let's prepare. So coming into our comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, and allowing shoulders to melt down, hips to drop, and knees relax. Letting eyes close. And let's take a big breath in through our nose. And exhale to settle. Taking another cleansing breath in. And release. And just starting to draw your awareness inside your body. Just allowing yourself to arrive. Allowing yourself to check in with how you're feeling in your mind and body today. So starting from the top of your head, and beginning to melt and soften every muscle. And when we soften the muscles in this way, it helps to create space for anxiety and stress to dissolve. So allowing the scalp to relax. Allowing face to soften. Checking around your neck and your throat. Aligning your chin parallel to the floor. Allowing shoulders to melt down away from your ears and your arms to drop. Hands soft and heavy. Feeling across your upper back and underneath your shoulder blades. And then step by step, guiding your mind down your back. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Noticing any sensations or areas of tightness. So you can encourage to melt. Starting to reach low back. Just exploring around the back of your pelvis. Feeling sitting bones pressing into the floor. Plugging you into the earth. And your next soft exhale. Let your hips relax and legs drop. And beginning to lean into your back body just a little. Feeling the space from your chest to your belly. Releasing any holding of your stomach muscles. And coming into our breath. Just here breathing smooth and deep. Filling your body with air. Noticing if there's any restriction or tightness to either the inhale or the exhale. And 
as you breathe in, allow belly to soften and expand. Draw your breath towards your pelvis. And the exhale, hugging pelvic floor and navel in and up. Lengthening your spine. Squeezing the breath out. A few more breaths like this in your own time. Softening the belly to breathe in. Hugging in to breathe out. Taking one more breath here. And letting go. Softly allowing eyes to open, drawing yourself back to the mat. Letting yourself sit tall. Taking your hands to knees if they're not there already. And we'll start to do some little undulations. So as we always start each class, just swirling around, warming up your body towards your chest, your front, your back. Just bring some movement into these areas that get a little stuck down. One more in this direction. And then moving the other way. Nice. Bring all those little spaces start to open. And one more big breath, one more roll all the way around. And all the way back up to center. Sitting tall and then rolling onto hands and knees, so rocking yourself forward. And here we'll start with a few simple cat cows. The hands underneath the shoulders, the knees under the hips. And we'll take a breath in, open up the heart, the tailbone to the sky. Exhaling, curling under. Breathing in and opening up again. Exhale, so a few more in your own time. Pressing the floor away. Inhaling, allowing your chest to be buoyant here. The light. Feeling the articulation of your spine. Taking a couple more like this. And then coming back to center, finding a neutral spine, and then beginning to roll in your freestyle movement here. So rolling into hips, into shoulders, Exploring down the sides of your body and just taking a moment to unravel, and un undo all the stuff that comes in the day. Taking one more breath all the way around here. And it's going to come back to center. We'll tuck toes, lift hips, and come back to downward facing dog. 
walking each heel to press one down, the other, just walking your legs. You can sway your hips too if that feels good. Just really checking in with your body. And from here, we're going to slowly come back to center and walk feet towards hands. Making our way to the top of our mats. Feet can set from hip distance apart, toes spread wide. As we inhale, get long. Exhale, bend knees and roll all the way up to stand. Breathe in, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll take a little flow here to warm and stretch throughout the whole body. So breathe in and lift. Exhale, float your heart down to the floor. Inhale, looking out to a flat back. Exhale, fold. We're going to step back with the right leg, the right foot to the back of the mat, knee to the floor. Beautiful. Breathing into a low lunge, lifting up, reaching to the sky. Exhale. Bring hands either side of front foot, and stepping back to plank. Holding plank here for a moment, and then dropping knees to the floor. Squeezing elbows and coming down to the ground. Untucking toes, we'll unfurl to your cobra. Exhale down. Tuck toes, press back to your knees, and then up, down, facing dog. Then to walk your feet again, take a breath here. Exhale. This time, inhaling, right leg reaches to the sky. Exhaling, right foot to the top of the mat. Bring left knee to the floor. Taking a stretch on the side as well in our low lunge. Reach to the sky. The size of your body lengthen. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lifting back knee and stepping to the top of the mat. Breathe in and then curl all the way up to stand on the exhale. Press the floor away and reach to the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart. And then breathe in. Exhale, down to the floor, forward fold. So Uttanasana. Inhale, looking out to a flat back. Exhale, folding. This time left side. Left leg steps to the back of the mat. This time, soften your left knee. Walk up to a high lunge this time. Pressing feet into the floor, lifting up. And exhale, breathe, 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 lift. Start to press your back heel away. Lift your knees, straighten your leg up nice and long. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bend everything. And take hands back to the floor. Stepping back to plank. Knees up or knees down, your choice. Coming down to the floor and then finding your back bend, either a cobra or upward facing dog. Big breath here. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Big breath here. Exhale to cleanse. Breathe in, left leg rises. Exhale, left foot steps to the top of the mat. Right knee softens as you press feet down, rise up high lunge. Nice, unfurl to the sky and then press your back leg towards straight. Press your heel towards the floor, nice big stretch here on your right, right hip. Inhale, reach even further. Exhale, nice, well done, hands come to the floor. Stepping forward, feet at the top of the mat. Big breath, and on your exhale, rolling yourself up. Reaching up to the sky. And exhale with your hands to your heart. Taking your breath here. 
Allow your eyes to close for just a moment. Setting an intention for your practice today. Perhaps to look after yourself or to not let yourself get away with anything. So coming back, opening eyes and releasing the hands. So we'll come into a bit of a warm up. We're going to start to take a little jog here. So from the side, just lifting the knees just a little way. And just start to warm up a little. That's it. So just getting really light on the feet. So here's some elasticity training. Start to feel body moving. Excellent. Really good. Okay. And now we're going to lift the knees up. The knees come forward. That's the way. Yes, nice. And then we're going to take the legs back. So falling legs and kicking behind you. Yes. That's it. Warming up your heart, your lungs, your muscles. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, and facing centre and jogging normally. So from here, we're going to take some little movement side to side. Big star jumps. That's it. Nice and wide and hug together. Staying super light on your feet. That's it. Nice. Really good. So getting warmer now, feel the blood. Start to move through your body. Three, two, one, and rest it out. So give legs a little shake. Ooh, that's enough, right? <laughs> so we'll just stretch into the legs a little bit before starting our first hit exercise. Please take water when you need. It's getting quite warm today, isn't it, here? So look after yourselves. <laughs> so from here, we've done this move before. We're going to do a bit of a forward fold. From here, sort of stretch and then a squat down just to stretch the legs up and down. If you need to come to the balls and lift your heels, you can, but just want you to a stretch into your legs here. So we'll just bob the hips up and down, stretching, opening even down your back into shoulders a little. Nice. Big breath, calm just a little bit. Nice. Really good. Maybe feel a bit of strengthening in the front of your legs. The quads start to turn on here. Taking one more all the way down, all the way up, and release. So come back to standing. Maybe give your legs a little shake. <laughs> okay ladies, we're going to start with our first hit exercise. So we'll do this for four, four times and we're going to work all the way through our body today. So a whole list of areas we are hitting. So we've got the squats first to start and then we're doing, um, where are we? doing chest, back, arms, biceps, triceps, the rest of the legs and our core. Okay, so we're not going to miss anything today. All in. So the first exercise is our goddess squats. So the feet come wide and the toes point to the corners, edges of the mat, following the direction of the knees. And we'll start standing here, so squatting all up and down. So our first round, getting it nice and simple. That's the way. The lights on the right timer. Three, two, and one, so off we go, so down and up. Yes, so draw the hips back. You should feel this right in your glutes and your hamstrings. Really stick your bottom to the back wall behind you. That's it, keeping your chest high, up and down. We're just warming here, stretching. Going a little bit quicker, maybe pressing heels into the floor. That's it, three, two, and one, and we'll walk it out. So the next one we're gonna do, same thing, we're gonna add a hop, okay? So <laughs> we've five seconds, so coming back, three, two, one, take it down, and hop. 
down and hop. That's it. So feel your legs as you lift off the ground. Lifting your knees, feeling your glutes, everything engages. You're like a coiled spring here. So get a nice deep squat. That's it. Get really deep and lift. Beautiful. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Feeling this everywhere. <laughs> Next one, we will go back to the first one up and down and alternate like that, okay? So coming back nice and wide. Off we go. Down and up. Down and up, leaving out the hop this time. Whew. <laughs> it's amazing. Just feel that there's no air today. Humidity must be high. <laughs> Keep breathing. Nice babies. Keep going. Keep pressing the floor away with your feet. Lifting your legs, your kneecaps as you rise. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Take a moment. <laughs> We're going to come back to the hopping one. And our last one will be the station one, let's call it. So three, two, one, nice wife and feet. Off we go and hop and hop. That's it. Nice and strong here. So feeling everything, your lower body completely engages. That's it. Keep going, keep breathing. Eight seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. He's a killer today. <laughs> and we rest it out. Okay. So as we're done, grab some water. <laughs> okay, ladies. Holding onto one leg, take a little stretch here for the front. Big breath and swap and release. Good balance. <laughs> That's it. Let the breath calm. Nice and release. We're going to work into our chests now. So coming down to the floor, bringing the blood to the top of the body now, drawing onto hands and knees. Taking the knees a little further back than usual and then rocking forward, keeping the shoulders aligned. That's it. So here, we're gonna press the floor away, bending elbows. And we're gonna go fairly quickly with this. So up and down. Okay, at any point you need a break, take a break. So this is for uh, 30 seconds. Up and down, pressing the floor. We're gonna go quickly. So three, two, one, off we go. You don't need to go too low. Just pressing up and down. Feeling your chest engage here. So you should feel from the front of your shoulders. Of course, the front of your arms. Keep pressing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a rest. Ooh, let me shake arms for a moment. Only 10 seconds to chill out. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> so, last coming back to position and beginning again. Off we go. Maybe squeezing your thighs together. And again, you don't need to go low for this, but just pressing the floor away. Almost like little pulses, little pulses. Hugging elbows in towards your sides. Keep your breath flowing. Last five, four, three, two, one. Rest it out. Ooh. Nice one, ladies. Getting sweaty. <laughs> yes, excellent, me too. <laughs> so let's come back to position. Spread your fingers wide. And off we go, keeping your belly button lifted. So hug the legs together, squeeze your pelvic floor up 
and your belly button in and up. That's it. Feeling this really strong across chest, the front of arms. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Take a rest. Ooh, one more like this. These are tough, right? <laughs> And it does feel like a rest because we're not jumping. <laughs> That's it. One more time now. Coming back to position. Nice long spine. And press the floor away. Press it away. That's it. Keep going. Keep breathing. You're nearly there. We're finishing this out together. That's it, core tight, elbows in, five, four, three, two, one. Take a rest. Ooh, we are done with this exercise. That's it. Cool, let your breath start to come back. Here we go. Roll your wrists. <laughs> and for this one, interlacing fingers behind your back. And start to curl, peel open. You should feel your chest open, your biceps stretch a little bit. If it feels good, you can lift and breathe here into your chest. Oh, let that release. That's the way. And then release your fingers and roll your arms. Whew. Let's move to our backs. <laughs> so this one, I'm going to come facing this way. So, coming down to the floor, nice, nice, long, long spine here, and little lifts, so breathing in, up, down, up, down, like this, so working into the back, just to create balance, as we've just done a lot of the front, so lost, so not pushing so hard, but going really quick little reps here, so keeping it high intensity, and keeping the breath moving, so let's begin in three, Two, one, off we go. So now pulses, pulse, 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 pulse. Follow the music. That's it. 10 seconds to go. Up and lift, 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 lift. That's it. Nice. Good rhythm, ladies. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Okay. Really there, coming back, and off we go again. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So for this one, we're doing a little shorter. It's 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest. Little lifts and pulse. That's it, feel your whole back body engage here for five, four, three, two, one. Take a rest. Woo. Getting ready again. Whipping through these, three, two, one. Off we go. So pulse, pulse. Trying to lift from your inner thighs. Feeling chest rise. Little with your breath. Three, two, one. And rest, one more like this. Whew. So nice to do it in our short little intervals here. Get ready again. Three, two, one. Off we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So really hugging shoulder blades together. Nice lift. Eight seconds. Nearly there. Three, two, one. We're done. Woo, rest it out. You're rocking your hips. Letting your breath. Calm down a little bit. Excellent. And from here, we're going to press back, take a brief child's pose. In a moment here to lengthen your back. And take one last breath. Ooh. and start to roll yourself up to a seat 
I'm going to come up to stand. So we're going to take our skater, hit side to side to work into the legs. So we remember this one, right? So from here we're getting low and we're hopping and we can tap with the opposite hand. Tap, tap, okay? So again, raising the heart rate, making the heart and the lungs start to work quite vigorously. So for our 20 seconds on, and we come to one side. Are we okay? Yeah? <laughs> so in three, two, one, off we go. Tapping, tapping, taking a big hop here. So hopping as if you have some blocks or a bolster in the middle of your mat so you're jumping over. Nice and high. Big twist. Three, two, one, rest it out. Woo. Excellent. So nice high little leaps here as we jump over. Coming back and off we go again. Off to the side, tap, jump. That's the way. That's it. Keep going. Nice and high. Maybe going even quicker. Starting to feel your outer hips begin to burn. Three, two, one, rest it out. Woo. Shake those legs, feel those hips. Maybe a nice twist as well helps. Woo. And three, two, one, off we go. Tap, tap, hopping and tapping. Super fast here, light on your feet. That's it. Nice, three, two, one, and rest. One more like this, ladies. <laughs> Coming back to position, off we go. Last time, feel that tap, hopping, landing lightly on your toes. Take that breath, feel your heart. Last five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Woo. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Woo. Hard work today. So, <laughs> let's cross our legs. Take a little stretch to the outer hips. Take a little forward fold. With your knees fairly bent here. So, it doesn't matter which way you cross your legs. We'll do both sides. And take a little sway with your hips. Nice. Let us feel good. Let your head drop. Big breath in. Exhale and drop even deeper. And when you're ready, we'll cross the feet the other way. So lifting up the back a little bit and take a cross. <laughs> That's it. Keeping knees nice and soft. Allowing yourself to fold over. Might feel quite nice to bend and then straighten in towards your legs. Maybe swaying again. Really good, one more breath here. Ah, release, uncross your legs. And we're gonna come down to a seat on the floor. Whew. Oh, how are we doing? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Excellent, yeah? Okay, so working the back of the arms and the upper back this time. So taking the hands, the fingers facing towards your hips. And then we can either stay with our seat on the floor, hugging the elbows towards each other, and then up and down to little pulses. Or we can lift the seat. A little bit more difficult here, ladies. Keep squeezing elbows towards each other, and little pulses up and down. So really short, sharp bursts here. Let's begin our timer in three, two, one. Little pulses. So, not like the long, slow burn of the sculpt and burn, 
little pulses up and down. Feeling the rhythm of the music. You know, bad guy. That's it. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo. <laughs> oh yeah. It feels different doing it slow, uh, faster, isn't it? Faster and shallow. Okay, find your position, lift your hips, off we go again. Pulse, 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 that's the way. So working into the fast twitch muscle fibers here. Rather than the, the slow twitch that we do in the other class. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Shake out those arms. <laughs> Okay, coming back to position, three, two, one, off we go, pulsing it out for 20 seconds, pulse, 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 that's it, keep squeezing elbows towards each other, don't let them fall open, feel this in your back of your arms, your triceps, three, two, one, rest, maybe also into your forearms, upper back and hold upper body. <laughs> so last time ladies, let's take the hands back, lift the hips and let's go. Pulse, 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 pulse. That's it. All these little reps are so good for us. Putting so much power into our bodies. That's the way. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Give those arms a roll. <laughs> Some love. That's it. And we'll just take the left arm across the right. We'll just take a stretch here. A couple of breaths. And then release and swap to the other side. That's the way. Breathing really underneath that shoulder blade. And then releasing this arm, your shoulders a little roll again. And then making a fist, putting your thumbs up, taking arms out. That's it. So thumbs up, good workout. Thumbs down, really good stretch. That's it. Feel that in your arms, all the way up to your shoulders. Try and draw your arms further away from you. Exhale and drop. Excellent. So ladies, it's come to the time we're going to play with our socks. So we're going to get slidey. So if you pop your socks on. If you need a drink of water as well, take some water on board. Not, don't go mad and guzzle. <laughs> Can we kind of, that's it, just a few sips. Can't believe we're layers on. We'll do this first next time. <laughs> no. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna find space to do this. So from here with our socks, we're gonna do a little front plank, nice and long here. So press the heels back. This is all about the core. So keep your arms strong, pressing into the floor. And then we're going to draw using the core muscles to hug the knees in. So we're coming in what this pose is called bear. So we're going to slide to bear and then press back to plank. Draw the knees in with your core to bend. That's it. Press back to plank. That's the way. So using the wrist. Well, less resistance on the floor, but the ability to use these core muscles to hug everything in, concertina up, super powerful. So keeping arms and framework really strong too. Okay, let's give this a go. So, <clears throat> lining up, spreading fingers wide across the floor, hands, hand, arm distance apart, and coming to plank. And off we go, hugging knees in, feeling your core, and then pressing away. So we're working the core in different directions here. Coming in and pressing away. Keep hugging your thighs towards each other. Last three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, maybe give your wrists a bit of love. <sighs> On your slidey moment. Setting up again. And off we go. Hug in and back. In 
and back. And now you have the feeling of this. Go a little bit quicker. That's the way. Keep navel lifted. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and rest. Maybe even feeling this in the front of your legs as well. So into those quad muscles. Roll wrists, come back. Two more to do. Off we go. Hug it in and out. In and out. Again, listen to the rhythm of the music. In, out. In, out. Drawing it in, pressing back. For three, two, one, and rest. Whew. This is a real <laughs> fire up the furnace kind of move. <laughs> So last time, let's bring it back, and off we go. So this last exercise, we're bringing it home, hugging everything in, using our full body to lengthen, strengthen, nearly there. Three, two, one, super strong. Okay, Whew, well done. Come back to your mat. Unravel if you ravel up like I did. Taking a moment here, hips on heels, and we'll just roll the wrists. Rolling one way, and then the other. Oh, just sweat. <laughs> Well done, ladies. Let's release this. Interlace the hands and roll. And then release this. That's it. And the other direction. Oh, you both glowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's release this. We'll take a moment just to come to uh, taking the fingertips towards the knees and we'll just open to the forearms a little bit here. So just gently, gently drawing hips back. We're just stretching the forearms. Being really careful here, really gentle. Taking one little press back and starting to release. Okay, nice. We'll roll your wrist again if you need to. If you remove your socks. Okay, from here we'll stretch into the front of the body. So we'll sweat now. So tucking toes just behind you. From here we'll take left hand to left toe. We're just going to reach the right arm up and behind us. Take a little stretch to the core and to the front. That's it. And then dropping hips down to the heels. And then down and we'll swap sides. Taking right hand to right heel. Sweeping the left hand over and pressing the hips up. That's it. And then down. Other side again. That's it. Press hips and core forward. As if you're pressing your front body into all you. That's it. A couple more on each side. Let this feel really fluid, really open. Open your chest. Big breaths. Exhale, come down. That's it. And opening. Nice. Let's take one more on each side. Bring this in and up. Stretching into those quads as well. We've we'll worked pretty hard today. And release. Coming all the way to a seat. Coming to our butterfly. Taking the diamond shape with the legs. Coming to a stretch here. So if it's comfortable and you want to sit fairly upright, you can just let the knees drop out. Or if you want to come a little deeper and take the fold, you can do. Bit. Some slow breaths. If it feels good, you can take a little rock from side to side. 
swaying through the roots of your body. One more deep breath in here. Exhale. Really roll yourself back up, hugging your knees towards each other. We'll take a little twist on the floor now. Coming all the way to lie comfortably down. Bringing knees into chest for a little hug before we do anything. That's it. Little rock from side to side. And then placing feet on the floor, lifting hips, rolling onto your left hip and letting knees drop over to the left side. Allowing the knees to soften and relax out. Taking your arms either side to cactus, or stretching them up long, whatever feels good for you right now. Keeping your gaze to the top, to the sky, or over to the right. One more breath here. And then when you're ready, rolling back to center. Giving your knees another hug. And then placing feet on the floor, lifting hips, rolling to the right side, allowing knees to drop over. Sorry. Again, gazing maybe to the sky or over to the left to deepen the twist. One more deep breath in. And when you're ready, slowly drawing knees back to center. Giving yourself a well-deserved hug. Rocking from side to side. Just releasing back and shoulders. From here, we'll melt down into Shavasana. So if you need blankets for, or support under your head or knees, then grabbing those now. Otherwise, crashing out across the floor, spreading arms and legs wide. So 
allowing yourself to land. Feeling all the goodness that you've done for your body. Pushing it to its limits. Taking it outside its comfort zone. Feeding it exactly what it needs. Now allowing it to rest. Pressing the back of your head into the mat. Firmly pressing down so much the back of the neck lengthen. And then drop. Release. Starting to press the backs of your arms into the ground. All the muscles wake up and ignite. Pressing as firmly as you can. And then release. Coming down to the back of your hips. Pressing them firmly into the ground as you can and then release. Notice how good it feels to drop. Relax your muscles.
and a splash in the breath. Starting to wake your body up, oh, wide open. Look at your fingers and toes. Starting to roll into your wrists and your ankles. And then evolving this movement into a big stretch arms, legs, and full body. A big yawn here. And bending knees, hug them into your chest. Massaging back. And then very softly rolling over to your favourite side. Just catching yourself. Draping here for a moment. And when you're ready, you're slowly helping yourself move up to a comfortable seat. Sitting up tall, feeling balanced, calm yet energized. Taking a final breath together in through the nose and down to the belly. Letting go with a sigh. Bring palms together at your heart and bowing head to hands. Namaste. Thank you, ladies, for coming to practice class today. And thank you again for your donations and for coming to class and continuing to support the Yoga Sanctuary. It means the world. So.